Hello everyone, I am here today to tell you how to make a simple Mother's Day card with a few things around the house that I'm sure your mother would enjoy. So you'll need a few materials if you want to gather them first. So some any paper, um, I used unlined white paper, if you have notebook paper at home, tablet paper, anything you can find. Um, then next you're going to need some drawing materials. Um, we're going to make a hand. So I used colored um, pencils to decorate my hand. I used red marker to make it look like the fingernails were painted red. And then I used this shocking pink crayon to color a heart that I have on the card as well. And then you'll need scissors to cut it out. To put the heart in, you can either use tape or glue, whichever you prefer. And also, after I colored my heart pink, I wanted to, uh, my writing to stand out, so I used a Sharpie marker on that. Okay, let's get started. Okay, you're going to take, I had to write backwards here. So that says left hand, right hand side of paper. I know that's hard to read, but I had to write backwards because when I put it up it showed. So what does that mean? So it's kind of going to feel opposite but you're going to put your left hand on this side. Naturally it would feel like your hand would go here but you have to be careful when you're going to put your left hand right here and you're going to trace it around. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to use your other hand but what I want you to be careful of is match up those pinky fingers and even if you can make them over overlap a little bit that would be perfect so after you get your hands traced go ahead and add some fingernails to make it life looking and then on my thumb do you see how i made it like half a fingernail because if my hand was laying down i would only see half of that thumbnail Next, you can grab your crayons, markers. I used a variety of things. It's up to you. And then you're going to decorate your hand. I chose stripes. Um, I used a red marker to color in my fingernails just because I wanted them to look painted. You can do whatever, however you want to. Okay, then you're going to fold it in half. Okay, next um, we're going to try to make a heart. Now a way to get symmetry in a heart that both sides match is to take a piece of paper and fold it in half and then draw the heart. So this way when you cut and open it up, then it will have both sides will be equal. So go ahead, cut that out and color it. Now I have a few suggestions for what to do with your heart. I made mine a coupon, so I wrote the word, I know this isn't, I'll read it to you, coupon and coupon, then I, I know you can read that. And this says, if you can read backwards, good for one manicure. And I thought even boys, your mom would probably love it if you painted her fingernails, girls, you as well. But I came up with a couple other things. You could put a coupon in to clean her bedroom. It could be good for a coupon to make her breakfast in bed on Mother's Day or any day she chooses. Or you just simply write a message of I love you. So um, after that, um, I'm going to use a piece of tape. I made a little tape ball. You can use glue. And you're going to put it in the inside of the hand. See, I put it in this. So when I fold it, Mom can't see until she opens it. And then your hands are tiny enough, you can just stick it in an envelope that you have at home. Decorate the envelope if you want to. Mom, I love you. Happy Mother's Day. Whatever you want to write. Thank you for viewing my video, and I hope your mom enjoys her card.